Alright, this video I'm going to show you how to uh, make a box and whisker plot. And uh, it's going to be two examples. I would watch both of them. The one example, there's going to be an odd number of data values. And the, the other example, there's going to be an even number of data values. Okay, so I would watch both of them. Because, I mean, you're doing the same thing, but... There's just a, a little something you need to know when you're doing an even number of data values. All right, so first, let's look at this. We've got the what we have to find when we're going to do a box and whisker plot is this five number summary. We want to find the minimum value of the data set, the first quartile, okay, and the first quartile. W we can abbreviate that Q1, okay? The second quartile, which is also the median, okay? The third quartile, we can abbreviate that Q3. And yes, if we wanted to, we could abbreviate this Q2. And then we want the maximum value. And then we can find the inner quartile range. That's the third quartile value minus the first quartile value. Okay, so this video just to show you how to draw a box and whisker plot. All right, so let's look at the first example. All right, so it says for us to make a box and whisker plot and find the inner quartile range with the given data. Okay, so first we can see this. We've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 data values. Okay. So let's go ahead and find our five number summary. So we have the minimum value and you can see these are already in order from smallest to largest and if you do have a data set and they're not in any kind of order you need to put them in order from smallest to largest. Okay, So our minimum value is 2 and let's just go ahead and write our maximum value down. That would be 15. Okay. Now, we need to find our first, second, and third quartile. Okay. All right, so there's 11 data values. So there's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. The 8's going to be in the middle. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Remember, the second quartile that's also the median. Okay, so the median is equal to 8. Alright, so that's the second quartile, it's the median, the data value in the middle. Alright, so now for the first quartile, okay, it is the median of the data below the median of the whole data set. Okay? So it's the it's the median of these data values. Okay? And then the, the third quartile is going to be the median of the numbers above the median of the data set. Okay? So here we have uh, Q1 that's the median of this. All right, I'm back. I don't know what happened. The computer was acting up. So, all right. So, see the bottom half of the data? So, we need the median of this. So, that's the number in the middle. And in this case, it's the 5. It's the number in the middle. And the third quartile. That's the median of the data values above the median of the whole data set. So the median here would be 10. Okay. All right. So we have our five number summary. So now we're ready to draw our box and whisker plot. So let's go ahead and draw it. So we need a line. Okay. Now when you're drawing this, you can draw it horizontally or you can draw it vertically okay it doesn't matter 
on on this one we're going to draw it uh, horizontally. All right. So we need to go. We need to make sure that we can take in the numbers two to fifteen. So I'm going to start here. There's two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen, sixteen. We'll go up in twos. Okay, so now to draw our box and whisker plot, we want to label the minimum value. So there's my minimum value and my maximum value. So that's going to be in between the 14 and 16. So there's my maximum value, the 15. And then the median, that's 8. So I'm going to put a line there. And then for the first quartile, I'm going to put a line there at 5. Okay. And then the third quartile, I'm going to put a line at 10. And then we make our box. And then you connect the minimum and maximum data values. And this is, you know, usually drawn to the center. Okay. A little messy, but you get the idea. Okay. And so this would be the box and whisker plot for this set of data here. Okay. All right. So, and 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 a lot of times, what you can do is these these parts right here, the first, second, and third quartile. A lot of times, you, you can label them five, and then this is eight, and then this is ten. Okay. You could even say Q1 equals Q2 equals Q3 equals. Okay. All right, so now let's take a look at the next one of these. Okay, so for example two, they want us to make a box and whisker plot and find the interquartile range with the given data. All right, so we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve values. Okay, so let's see one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five. These these two values, 21 and 22, that's the values we have in the middle. Okay? All right. So the median, okay, the median, well, before we do the median, let's go ahead and write down the minimum is 10, and the maximum is 40. And and remember, just like the first example, the data needs to be ordered from smallest to largest. Okay, so now for the median, okay, well, since we have the two numbers in the middle, it's the average of these two. So that's 21 plus 22 over 2, which equals 21.5. So that's our median, our second quartile. Okay, now let's find the first quartile. Now this is where you need to uh, watch. I've seen I've seen places where they said when you when you find the first quartile, it's the median of this data. They don't include the twenty one. Okay, but and then other books say it's the median of this. Okay? Some books do it different than others. Okay? Both of them is correct. Just whatever your teacher tells you to do. But I'll do it like this. Because you know we're using the 21. The 21 was not used for the median of the of the whole data set. Okay? The second quartile was not the, the second quartile was 21.5, which falls in between these two numbers. So we didn't use, see, the 21 was not the second quartile. So we're going to use it in this one to find the, the uh, first quartile. So the first quartile, all right, we've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So it's going to be the two middle numbers. Okay, so that is going to be the average of those two. So 12 
plus 15 over 2. Right, so that's going to give us 13.5. All right, and then the same thing over here. Like I said, some will use this half of the data and not include the 22, but some will include this 22. And the way I do it, I include that number. Okay, So the median is going to be the average of these two numbers. Those are the two in the middle. Okay, All right, so Q3 is 29 plus 31 over 2. So 29 plus 31 divided by 2, that is going to give me 30. All right, so now we have all of our information, and I do realize that I forgot to find the interquartile range on the first one. We'll go back and do that when we get done with this problem. All right, so let's go ahead and draw our horizontal line, okay? And we need to be able to take in 10 to 40. So I think I'm going to go up in fives. So we'll have 5, 10, 15, 20. 25, 30, 35, 40. So we can label it 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40. All right, so let's plot our minimum. That's 10. Uh, maximum is 40. Uh, the median is 21.5. So, you know, I guess about right in here. 21.5, and then Q2, uh, the first quartile is 13.5, so that's going to be about right in here. And then Q3 is 30, so that'll be about right there. And then we draw our box, connect it with the maximum and minimum value. And so the first quartile was um, 13.5, the median was 21.5, and then the third quartile was 30. And, and, you know, I think that's a good idea to label, label these like this because, you know, because they're not falling on anything, so just label them so we know what's going on. All right, so the inner quartile range That's equal to Q3, which is 30, minus Q1, which is 13.5. So we got 30, we got 30 minus 13.5, and that's going to give us 16.5. That's the interquartile range. There's your box and whisker plot. Now let me go back over here to the first one and we'll find the inner quartile range here. That's the uh, third quartile, which is 10, minus the first quartile, which is 5, and that equals 5. All right, so the intention of this was just to show you how to draw a box and whisker plot. Okay, uh, Maybe another time I'll make uh, a video on you know, different things we can do, like with outliers, stuff like that, using the interquartile range and that kind of stuff. But all this video was for was to uh, draw, how to draw a box and whisker plot. And I hope it helped, and thanks for watching.